Hello, I'm Dave Wilhelmsen. I'm an artist. I'm going to give you an art lesson today. We're going to be doing an acrylic painting, acrylic paints, and I'm going to give you a list of the supplies that we need. But the, uh, we're going to be doing an acrylic painting that's going to be roughly on an 11 by 14 canvas. And, the can and I'm going to show you what the painting is, the finished painting, what it'll look like. It's a mountain, lake with a boat in it. And what I want you to have is a list of what we need. First of all, Acrylic paints, I'm going to show you what they are. At any art store you can get them. Okay, the basics, just, it's fine, it's more affordable. You're going to need a tube of medium blue, a tube of medium green, a tube of dark brown, a tube of br medium yellow, a tube of medium red, and a tube of white. These are only the six colors that you'll need to paint this. Um, as far as brushes, I use like watercolor brushes. I uh, prefer using watercolor brushes instead of bristle brushes. And you would need a number eight brush, watercolor, number 10 brush, that's a watercolor brush. And then the palette, I'll show you my palette here. You can use a palette or a plate. And it's used to put your paints on and mix them. I'll show you during the lesson. And then, of course, a pencil. This one we wouldn't really need a ruler, but a pencil is important, obviously. I'm going to start the uh, painting now, and I hope you enjoy. This is the painting we're going to be doing today. It's a mountain lake with the boat, like a little rowboat. You see the oar here. And we're going to learn about just first laying down the lines to draw it. We're going to use a horizon line and a couple semi-vertical lines and then the boat but I'll walk you through this so um, this will be fun and here we go now when you're looking at the middle here of the canvas I'm going to draw like a line a vertical line going top to bottom okay and then I'm putting one right in the middle here roughly in the middle that's going across going across the horizon line and it's horizontal, all right? So basically, those are the two things we have to start out with, and I'm gonna show you where we go from now. Right in the middle, whoop, right in the middle, we're gonna do a mountain thing. It goes almost all the way up to the top there. So you go from the middle and up to the top. And on this side here, we're gonna go a little lower on that one, and it goes around half of the way on the right side, okay? And then we're doing another mountain here, so in the middle, that's going to go all the way up and it's going to reach the top, okay? So we have those three mountain lines. Line. <laughs> A line. Okay, so now we have, this is the, the, the line we're going to be using for the top of the lake. All right, the lake is going to start over here and gradually work, work its way down over here to the halfway mark here. Roughly halfway on this, on the right side, halfway. We start over here on the left, going all the way down, a free form line. Now this is the lake in here, we're going to be painting. And this is the shoreline, like a beach. Okay, these are the mountains here, and this is going to be the sky. Okay, now the only thing missing here is the boat. So we're going to be using, we're going to get in here and we're going to curve like an arch here. This is going to be the top. It's a rowboat, all right? And then on the bottom, we're going to do another one, but not as curvy, okay? And stop. It's not going to go as far as that line. It's not going to go as far as that line, okay? Now we're going to draw this connecting here. This is going to be the front of the boat, okay? And the back of the boat, we will curve up a little bit here, and we're going to draw a box. This is the back of the rowboat, okay? Now there's another line here we're going to take from the back to the front here. All right, and we're putting a line in there. Okay, then we add a line here underneath. This is the bottom of the boat, you see here. And then we're putting a line here along the bow of the boat. All right, so there's that. Now, underneath the boat, we're just going to put a line where the shadow is, spilling out onto the beach. Okay, so that's our boat there. All right. Now we're going to get into starting the painting. 
you're going to be having on your palette here, you have your white on the top, red, medium red, medium brown, medium green, medium blue, and medium yellow. So we're going to take our number 10 brush, the larger of the two, swish it in our water here, okay, wipe it off. And now we're going to do the sky. We're going to start from the top down. The sky color, we're going to take half of the blue, okay, in here, and some of the white, all right, so you get like a nice medium, lighter blue, lighter blue. We use the medium blue and the white, and we got this. I'm going to thin it out a little water, thin it out a little water so it's easy to brush with. Now I'm going to follow the, the edge of the mountains here, the craggly edge of the mountains, okay. I'm going to water it out a little bit more. I'm going to follow this line here, okay. Now I'm going to fill this in. This is my larger brush. Just brush it any old direction here. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm going to make a little more of this blue. I add the white and the blue. Almost even amounts of it. Okay, this might be a little lighter. There we go. I'm going to go like this. Okay. All right, we got that taken care of. Now, the next thing is going to be the, we're going to do the lake. All right. And the lake is going to be a, uh, a greenish color. So I'm taking what, what I have there of that blue, the blue up there, and I'm going to add my medium green to this blue. All right. And blend it in there so it doesn't go to waste. All right, I'm going to add some water to it. All right, so now I'm going to fill in the lake area. So this greenish color. Okay. Here we have a lot of area of lake. This is probably the largest area we're going to be doing besides the mountains. I'm going to mix even some more green, blue, and white. All right, so this looks a little lighter. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's too light. I'm going to add some green and blue to it. All right. Go along the edges of that boat. Want to try to stay away from that. Okay, in the front of the boat here. I'm going to go along that. Not make a straight line for this beach front. Here we go. All right. This is the large area we're working in. But this is the bottom color, making a little more of the color here. All right. All right, now the next thing we're gonna work on here is working on the water. We're gonna put a blue, blue finish on the top of it. I'm going to add blue to what I have there. I'm going to add white to it. Okay, so we have a bluish tint to the line on the top. Get some more blue in there. Don't be afraid of like, if you go open up above it, we're going to be painting above there later on. There's going to be like a stone beach on the other side of the lake there, which will cover anything that you made a mistake on. Okay, now I'm going to wash my brush out. I'm going to blend this together. Okay. I'm going to blend this together. Going left to right, left to right, horizontal brush strokes, okay? Left to right, left to right, okay? So you have that nice blue finish on the top. And then 
I'm going to start working on that beach, the number 10 brush still. Okay, now I'm going to get yellow on this side, a little bit of brown, and a little bit of red. Okay, so I have that color there. The only thing missing is white. I need white. Okay, so I have a nice sandy color here. Let's see what I have here. Add a little more brown to it. I'm going to add water to it. See how this goes. I'm going to add white to that. Okay, that's good. You add a little more white. I'm going to try to lighten that up a bit. Here we are adding white. Get the color. Okay, go around the shadow, going around the boat. We go around that. Okay. We're going to blend this shoreline where the uh, beach meets the, the water. I'm going to lighten up this sand too. It's going to give it much more definition. But we're just laying down the base colors here. Okay, so. Okay, so now we're going to blend where the water comes in a little bit. This is going to be very interesting where the water meets the. Wash this out. Okay. Um. I'm going to go ahead and add some white to this for the beach. Some highlights in here. Right. Okay, now the next step is going to be the mountains. I'm going to get some more color on my, I have to pour more paint onto my palette. I'm running low on it. I got to add more blue to it and more yellow. So uh, we're going to focus on doing the mountains. All right, so to get the color of the mountains, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make brown. I'm going to go up in here. Brown and blue and a little bit of white. Now the white, I'm going to take a big dab of that. All right, this going to need a lot of color on this one, a lot of paint. So first of all, I'm going to go up here, got the dark color of the mountains. I'm going to cover, I'm going to go into the sky with that. I'm not going all the way down, I'm just going to take out some like this. Going up and down motion here, side to side. I'm going to go here. This one I'm going to cover a little more with. Put water. Let's see now. I'm going to go along this lower hill. And then along the coast, I'm going to add a little white to this. Along the coastline, I'm going to do this line of gray. Add some brown to this and blue. I'm going back and forth with this line of the beach here. There's going to be 
rocks in there eventually, but I'm trying to get the base color there. All right. Now what I'm doing, I'm going to go back since the mountains are still wet, I'm going to lighten up the rock formations in there. It's all like rock, the bases. Okay, and what I'm doing is, I'm going to write straight from the palette white. Let's do here the tops of the mountain. Okay, this is probably going to be the toughest part with the mountains here. See, I'm getting down here with this. And I'm doing this here. And then on the other side, I'll be doing rock formations too. It's like exposed rock that's shining in the sun. And then I'm going to go Yep, so exposed rock, what do you call them? Beauty, but uh, um, shining rock buttes. And then they come out like that. Okay, so that'll be that for now. And then on the, the beach frontier, I'm going to put some outcroppings of rocks there. All right. All right. Now, more on the beach. We're going to get to that shadow and that under the boat. All right. Let me add some darkness here. Do with that. And do this here. And then, as I said, a dark shadow. This is going to go under the boat. And then you're going to see how it hugs under the very bottom of the boat here. I'm going to make that boat a nice color, you'll see. Okay, and it gets under there like a sliver of paint in there. And then I'm going to make the bright color we'll lighten up. Some edges of the beach is going to have this darkness over here coming in. I just give it a little more character the beach. You know how the sand gets. Alright, All right. now the next one here, I'm going to do the interior of the boat. Got to use that dark color again. Alright, so the sun is going to play games with us on that one. I've got to add this just add a little bit. I'm using the dark brown. What I'm going to do is this thing here is going to be right in here. A sliver of the, it's like a shadow in there. Okay, so that's that. Then now I'm going to color the boat. And you know what color we're going to make? We're going to make like a reddish color. A reddish color. I'm going to start with the light color though. You get my white, put it over here. Get that. Red and yellow. Kick up that red. It's too rosy of a color. I'm going to put that in the sunshine color here. Okay. Yeah, a little more red to it. And yellow. And I'm going to try to cut in here. I'm using the number 10 brush. You'd probably be better off if you want to use the number 8 on this. I'm going to do the details later with the number 8 brush, the small one. Okay. Now I'm going to add darker color to get that back panel. And they're red and blue. Okay, look at this one here. I have to get more red on my palette. This is going to go back here. A little yellow, maybe. There we go. Here we go. And that's going to be that there. And then underneath it, I'm going to add some dark color here, some red. And underneath it, the blue. And this is going to go underneath it here. All 
All right, so now we have that dark color up here. All right, now, and we need a dark shade under the lip, the edge, right here. I'm going to put a darker color blue, red in there. All right, so we got a. This is going to go under here. There we go, and we're going to go this color all the way across, like that. Now, if I can just get that a little deeper over here. All right. All right, now, I'm going to get some of this white in here. I've got to get more white on my palette. More white and more red I need. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight some of the water coming in off the lake there. And we're going to put a, a thing there, the uh, little bit of waves or whatever in here. Um, I'm going to add just this. And I'm going to put a little bit of... Okay, see the... And then, I'm gonna get these stones up here, adding white highlights. All right, and then, all right, I wanna get carried away with that. I'm gonna put a little bit lighter on the end of this, the end of this boat, I'm lightening up this color here so the light, the sunlight comes shining. All right. The eye goes right to this little rowboat. Let me give it a little more character here. All right, now, what we're gonna do next is um, focusing probably on the mountains. Uh, we're gonna see what we can do with, um, okay, I'm gonna put a little, that boat needs a little bit more attention on the, there's gonna be an oar coming in here, an oar here, and a little detail there. And an oar over here. All right, now I'm gonna fill in the top of that boat with white paint here and I'm gonna do this I'm gonna use my number eight brush for that okay here we go get the thinner brush wet it up with water I'm dip in there let's see how we can do this get it where the point is really nice I'm gonna go in here back and fill in that dark brown in the middle of the boat. Come back there later. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the, in here, green. We're gonna do the trees on the mountainside. Okay, I'm gonna make them light color though. I need the green and the yellow and a little bit of white. All right, so now I do up here. Add water to that. It flows so much easier with you. Make it wetter. A little bit of water on your brush. Okay. Here we go. Okay. The same with over here. Just over here. I'm gonna make it a little darker now. I'm gonna work it darker with that, with that. Some more green, medium green and just some blue. Medium green and blue. And I'm gonna go down in here now. And green and blue. And 
Now I'm going to make little trees here, like vertical pines and alpines. I'm going to do this over here too. Okay, greens and blues. All right, now I'm going to make another shade, really dark green. Okay, so what I'm going to do is a green, blue, green. Maybe I got to get more green on my palette. You got to take time, you know, to put more paint on the palette. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I got to get green and brown and a little jump of red. Red just darkens it right away. Now you're gonna see it really come into play here. I'm gonna go along where the top of those rocks are, the beach, the jetty, or the, on the other side of the lake in the distance. Back to my palette, loading up with more dark paint. Okay, well, you see it's still wet up above, so I can make some detail here. And I'm going to put some up here. There's pine trees up there on the ridge. And then over here now, the same, hugging those rocks, the rock beach on the other side of the lake, under this mountain. And then I'm gonna go having a regular thing here, like all the trees pop up there, more red and blue and green. Okay, I got that. Now we're going to go to the next one. I'm going to go into the mountains again and give them some definition. So we're going to go over to the, the brown and the blue, brown and blue, and a little bit of white. Now, let's see what this looks like, a little more bluish color. And I'm going to go down into this. Just touching it, not heavy strokes here, just some mild light strokes. We're going at an angle. These are the shadows of those outcroppings of rock on the mountains. These are like stone mountains here and over here, come in this direction. I think I like to start down here with the bottom of the mountain too. Water it down a little bit. I'm going to add a little more detail later with these mountains too in white. Okay, that's that. Now, along the top of the lake, the water we're going to highlight. I'm going to take my brush and load it up with some white. And here we go, I'm going to go like see here, a little closer to the beach, some more of the water here. Along on that oar, the top of the oar gets a white line. Top of the 
the sewer gets white. And then what we do here is that um, the line on the beach, the water on the beach, I mean the water on the lake is going to be swirly here. There's a lot of river going to some fine lines. All right, now we got that one there. All right, so now, yeah, we're going to put some more white here. And then I have to put underneath the, between the sand. All right, so now, and then I'm going to make some lighter things here. Just yellow and white. Yellow and white here for the up on these mountains here. hills here. You can see that there. All right, so now the next thing is going to be highlighting the mountains some more in that. I got to get into the darkness of that boat. Let me do the boat first. It's right in here. Close that up a little bit. That bothered me a little bit there with the Right, and then just a halo of something under here for the ore. All right, and the other one, we hardly see that other ore sticking out of the, the boot. Okay, now, now I'm going to go along that coastline again with those rocks. Let me see. I'm going to go into the mountains where the stones are. And we're going to be getting to the finish soon. dry brush here with this and you like the outcroppings of the rocks. Put a few dots in there like you know the now the clouds. Just gonna do a few swishes of clouds. Over here. Finished with that brush, now I'll go back to the number 10. Wet brush, or damp wet brush, and blend in the bottom of the cloud into the sky. Do this sky thing I gotta do down below. I'm gonna take white and a little bit of blue. There's gonna be a nice lighter blue in here, working our way up. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna blend that, wash out my brush, blend it.
And now we're going to put some blue up above, some darker blue into this, make it dramatic instead of clouds. And some more blue over here. Now I'll use my brush again, dampen it up. This is the number 10 brush, wash it out. Damp it out. Okay, just make it a damp thing. Okay. I'm going to make this a little brighter at the bottom here. Brighten up that beach a little bit. Um, brightening up that beach, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna make some more white into those mountains, though I think up here this bit needs brightening up. up that sand a little bit. The green here, the greenish blue, we're gonna do a little bit of that greenish blue. Greenish blue. Greenish blue, fill in. Get some more. And we're just about done here. Just want to highlight that boat a little more with the blue, I mean the red and yellow. And make it really nice looking here. And we're going to put a dark line under that boat some more. I'm going to make a blue backdrop there. Do just the final touches on those trees in the distance. I'm going to do dark brown and red into that green.
Okay. I think this is the this it. We got one, I think, just a little bit more white on that beach with this. There we go. And that highlight on that green one over there. Okay. I think we are done. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. The palette, there we are, the mountainside lake with the boat. Well, today, um, we, I hope you enjoyed the lesson, uh, the mountain lake with the boat in it and following, just learning how to do acrylics and bringing a lot of light and color into it with the simple brush strokes, highlighting things and making it dramatic, but it's uh, making an enjoyable painting and having a lot of fun. Thank you.